Well, hello. So today I thought I will show you guys how to flash the sun off TX EU version. I uh, know there are a lot of videos on YouTube and uh, information on uh, the internet, but I didn't find uh, exactly the flashing guide for this model. I only find the one from the US. So I thought I will show you guys uh, how we can do this. So as you know, there is no reason describing the switch. It's uh, from Sonoff and uh, it's the model TX, actually T3 EU two channels or two gangs or how uh, you would like to call it. So uh, I'm gonna load Tasmota on it just for uh, using it with uh, Home Assistant. I know there are Sonoff integrations from just using your Evilink account and so on, but we don't care about that. We want to use it with Tasmota. So that's what we are trying to do. So it's a black switch. And you know uh, how this comes. I already taken it apart just to be easier. This uh, top part comes off, you have to pry a little bit here and actually it's really sensitive this plastic so be very careful because it's holding really well and you must force it a little bit. So this is how it looks, we have here the two switches and that's it. So we can take down this glass cover and uh, we are remained with the inside and we can also take out this part because this is the one we will need for flashing. Here we see the connections for the two relays and probably the power supply is here somewhere. So we don't need this part for flashing. So how uh, are we going to do this? I'm hoping you can see this. We will need first time a serial USB to serial converter. This is a model I'm using. If you have this one, you must be very careful for this jumper to be on 3.3 volts, not 5 volts, because then uh, you could fry your switch and we don't want that. You can make the connections with some DuPont wires and I have a little header made like this that it will fit, sorry, it will fit exactly here and it's the right order for the pins, so it's ground, TX, RX and plus, plus uh, 3.3 volts. So how can we do this? We must put the, the module into flashing mode and for that it's really simple. I mean, this, it's simple. Sorry, I don't know why I'm holding this so up. So we have to put this resistor to ground. It is R, R19, I think. But anyway, if you cannot read the board, because I almost cannot read it myself, if you hold this resistor to ground while powering up the module, then uh, this will put the unit into flash mode and then you can load the firmware to it. Okay, 
so uh, let's do that it's really hard you usually need to hold it in place quite firmly because uh, otherwise it, the module will just keep on restarting so uh, I will be using uh, Tesmotizer and uh, I hope I didn't stop my recording now well anyway I'm not sure what I'm doing here okay so um, we will need some things first um, you will need the firmware and uh, this is the releases I will be flashing there is a newer release 9.3 at this time but uh, I will be using uh, the older one for now there are some compatibility issues with home assistant and so on so on uh, so we will be using this you should select the language that you want the firmware to be in so we will choose UK because uh, that is how I am used to everything in English in this kind of things so this is what we'll be using this is the link I will also leave it in the description the link to the Tesmatizer this is what I'll be using but you could use also ESP home I guess flasher yeah this is uh, you can this is a release that we will work on Windows okay and uh, another thing you will need is this driver for this FTDI chip if you don't have it already so I will leave uh, all this in the description so you can find it of course you will need again access to your router after the flashing is done so this is what uh, we should do first and this will be a little bit tricky so I will try to hold the ground to R19 while we power up the the module so powering up now it means connecting it to the USB port okay so if the LED is not blinking it means it's in the flashing mode so you just need to keep this here not to move and there's no reason soldering this to the board because it will not fit in here so and probably you will only need to do this once okay so now we should check uh, in the control panel in the device manager so we see that uh, I have the driver already installed and I have the serial adapter on COM or 5 if uh, you are getting this kind of message like here you will need to download the driver from this page and uh, install it like it's shown here okay so after I installed Tesmotizer or I think it's just an X say I don't think you need to install it so we will refresh and uh, we will see that our module is on port 1 before I flashed the Romanian firmware so I will not do that again I will go back to the UK 
because I don't think there is any difference beside language. And then you can hit Tesmotize. Yeah, there is some flashing here on the adapter. I think this means the firmware is loading. We will just wait for that. doesn't take too long okay so when it's done it's saying we should power cycle the device so that's what we will do we will remove it from the USB and connect it back so by this time basically we are only supplying power to the module and uh, not nothing else so we can close now the Tesmotizer, we don't need this anymore and we should go to our network connections and we will see here a Tesmota access point and we should connect to that. Well, now it's the module is just restarting because my hands moved or something and you can see it's not a really good power supply because the LEDs on the touch screens are always blinking. Okay, I think it's okay now. So let's see if we are still connected with all these restarts. Yes, we are still connected. So here you will need to enter your, your credentials to the network and the password okay no that's not it sorry now it's in russian but why this is quite strange So of course we don't want Russian. So we will need to flash this again. I don't know why it's in Russian. Ah, okay. Never mind. I will flash this again. Okay, so it's in English finally, and um, I think UK means Ukraine, not English. Yeah, anyway, so here we must be really careful, so everything is the same as our connection should be and now we will save this and the module will uh, try to connect to our Wi-Fi and I think it already did because uh, this one has stopped so we will have to go into our router and we will need to find the module there okay 
and we have six devices online and yes we can see here uh, the Zmota device we can see the IP here I don't know if we can copy it from here no anyway we should see it in the server copy and uh, if this is the final position for this module you should reserve this IP only for this so this IP will will always be assigned to this uh, MAC address to this module okay so now that we have the IP number we will paste that in the browser and voila we are now connected to the module we are our Wi-Fi and uh, we should configure the module because this is not so not basic and since there is no TX version the T1 should work just fine to channel because this is a two channel okay so this will restart again okay so it's already connected to the network and now it should work yes we can see with some delay I don't know why but it works it works instantly from the interface but with a little bit yeah, I know there is a delay when touching and this can be removed in the configurations but uh, you can find this on the Tasmota web page the only thing uh, we need to do for this to be seen in home assistant I think it's set option almost good option 19 one yeah and we can see now uh, the device is discoverable in home assistant okay so that's it guys for today I know there are a lot of videos like this out there but I just wanted to show you for the EU version I didn't find it or I didn't search hard enough I don't know what to say anyway this is it thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe if you liked the video and hopefully we will see you next time with something else okay take care bye bye